Hi, thanks for watching my video. The other day I made a video, this video right here, which is posted. I'll put a link to it down in the description. And I have two pictures in here. Uh, this is my banner for my YouTube channel and these little caution teleport symbols. These are pictures and people were asking how did I get these into the level. So I use Blender. Um, and just so you know, I am not very knowledgeable of Blender. I, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm maybe a 2. I do not know much about Blender at all. I only know a very little bit about just the things that I need to do things with BeamMG. So again, just full public disclosure, I do not know much about Blender. So I have in my Blender folder, I put a picture in here, which is just teleport 25th floor, and it's a PNG file. So that's the one we're going to use. So go to File, imp uh, Import, and Image as a Plane. If you don't see this, you have to add that. And honestly, like I said, I'm not very knowledgeable of Blender, and I don't remember how I added it, but I know you have to add it. But anyways, File, Import, Import Image as a Plane. And then we will go to, let's see, Desktop. Blender files <clears throat> and let's find that 25th floor and we'll import that as a plane. Now you can't see it so you come up here to viewport shading I believe it is and there it, it will appear and if you go around the back of it it will be invisible but anyways so now we're just going to go to file export export as Colada or DAE and now we're going to go to BeamMG uh, we have to figure out where we want to put this um, let's just put it mods let's see we have to find something that's unpacked levels car jump arena art we'll do it in car jump arena now so it's going to be an art or car jump arena art. So whatever you name it, we'll name this the same thing. It's called a picture. Uh, tell T E L E twenty five. <clears throat> and if you look over here, it's going to change this because over here it's going to be called material. Everything apparently you do and Blender is named material. So you can't export every single item as a material. So you have to make sure that you change the name to it. And you want to make a, a simple name. Don't make anything long and complicated. And I'm not sure if you need a PNG on the end or not. So anyways, it's going to be called T-E-L-E. -E, so that's going to represent teleport and 25.png. And again, I'm, I'm not sure if you need a PNG. So we're going to do export. And we're going to leave this open. We'll shut it down. Go to Car Jump Arena or BeamMG. Now this next step that I'm going to do, again, I'm not very sure about this, but I've seen uh, Terry Martin, I believe, did this. It's a way, I guess, you're introducing a new material to the level, so when it comes here, you just press F11 and go to Window, Material, and this one right here is New Material. The name of our import that we're doing is TELE25. P and G and we'll hit create and we'll let that go through its thing F11 we'll go here go to car jump arena we're at the ramp load that <clears throat> okay here we are in car jump arena so let's do F11 we'll freeze everything let's go to our asset browser and go to art and there it is right there. Let's go down here. And there's the teleport 25th floor. Uh, as a PNG, I thought it would be... Oh, because I don't think I cleared it in... Uh, I would have had to clear this white background in, in Adobe Photoshop and erase that. But anyways, so that's how you get an image into the level. So let me show you one more thing here. Let's press number three and we'll make it bigger. 
and we're going to put this down in the track like that and we're going to go to edit rebuild collision and let this finish right here F11 let's go back to our vehicle and you go right through it so if you go <clears throat> here change this to visible mesh go to edit rebuild collision let that finish up there I'm not sure if rebuild collision is necessary but I always do it after I make a change to something And it makes a, uh, by just going to highlight in the picture and just change it into visual mess, makes a picture, I don't know if you would ever need that, but if you ever need to make a picture a solid, that's how you do it. And one more thing, if you import, um, actually, to give you a better example of what I'm about to say, let's just leave this level and let's go to, let's see, what level has one in it? So here we are in grid map V1. And in this level, I, you can see these white blank, these white things. I don't know why, but when I imported my images here, they did not, you can see there here is a DAE, this banner and then banner. That's the banner. That's the white one back there. That's banner. And then that's the image that goes on banner and port in this right here and that's the image report I don't know why the images didn't stick to them but it's not really a big deal if it doesn't because all you have to do is highlight it we're on banner and you come down here to the first block and you're gonna go to banner it's located in art right there and just hit open and then it will put the image on there this one is called port so we're gonna highlight it click on this and the second one is port and there it goes. You actually put it on all of them. So if you ever import it and it's not there, you just go to your materials editor, which is Windows, material editor, highlight it, and go to the first box. And make sure you know where your images are at. It's always important. You know, you don't want to bury them somewhere in some file location and not be able to find it. In this case, they're simply in art. So anyways, that's how you get images into different levels. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.